All right, now the clutch tends to stick. You gotta ease off slow. There you go. <laughs> Gas gauge says full, but it isn't. You gotta hit it just right, and it'll tell you the truth for one split second, and it shoots right back up there to full. Where do I hit it? Right there. Just give it a pop. Yeah, quick like. That's it. Where's half the tank? The gas can's in back, just in case. Wow, look at that. Are they Japanese? Watch the road. They're from Camp Amache. That's an internment camp. Yes, it is. Farms are short-handed. The government needs the food, so they send the workers. They work your farm? Our farm. Yes, they do. We pray for the relief of suffering and an end to war throughout the world. Amen. Ruth's been dying to meet you. She's my oldest. Hi, Ruth. I'm Lizzie. And the boys are running around, but they'll come in when they realize the food's in here. Is your dress store bought? You take care of mine. Yes, it is. I bet it was. Well, Ray, are you going to introduce us? Yes, ma'am, Miss Parker. This is my wife, Libby. Your wife? Well, how do you do? Nice to meet you. Your wife? I'm Miss Parker. I've known Ray since he was this high. And this is Mrs. Pratt? Goodness me, we never knew. So pleased to meet you. And Martha never said a word. Yes, aren't we all blessed? Yes. <laughs> Sweetheart, will you help me with the table? Bye. Bye. You must not be from here. We've been so worried about Ray. The way things have played out here. And not a single young woman to speak of. And Ray, such a fine young man. How'd you meet? I eloped. Uh, we met in Denver. How romantic. I never knew you traveled to Denver. You come sit by me at the potluck. <laughs> We'd like to stay, but we got to get on. But we're really going to enjoy your cake, Miss Pratt. Thank you. Oh, you're, you're most welcome. welcome. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. Bye. I just have a letter in the drop at the post office. It's Sunday. Mail it for you tomorrow. Oh, it already has a stamp on it. I'm just gonna drop it in the box to my sister. shallow for swimming. There's two feet of silt down there. You like to swim? I used to. I used to love to swim. Middle of the 
day is not the best time for fishing. Being out here is the point. Fishing's just an excuse, I suspect. While we're in town, I need to mail a letter. Everything go all right? Everything's right on schedule. Did he say when the baby was coming? December. I could have told you that before. People will know. People will know the baby's early. What will they think then? I don't care what people think. I don't see how you could be immune. People judge, people gossip. They won't say a thing. Why is that? Well, they want the best for us. Maybe I put too many jalapeno peppers in it. <clears throat> no, it's real good. Real good cooking. The cheese, I forgot the cheese. It might mellow it. Hold on. What is that? That'll be Hank. What's that? What's that sound? It's the claw. What are you doing with that thing? You said you like to swim. Dig your holes. Summertime, you and the children can go swimming. Children? I don't know why he's going to the trouble. And he just wants to please you. I may not dance. Oh, well, Martha will just be glad we're there. She's always been a fool for dancing. Slim's her favorite. I wonder what else is out there beyond the farm? Sometimes. Aren't you curious how other people live? I enjoy a drive, but I like coming back to my place, sleeping on my land. Your land. It seems every war in human history is about owning the land. I like the Indian view. Just temporary guardians on the land where we live. It's not temporary to me. 
But your family's owned this land for less than a hundred years. In the span of history, that's nothing. In the span of a life. It's near everything. Ray, you really ought to dance. I'm fine. 